Hello dear friends, welcome to this chest opening class where I'll gently guide you through gradual spine and hip extensions, inviting your entire body to experience openness and expansion. I'm honored to be your guide today. When you're ready, join me seated on your heels at the back of your mat. Sitting on your heels, take a little moment to feel yourself, notice your breathing, and start circling your shoulders backwards, feeling how it feels, if it feels a bit hard or bumpy, or if it feels fluid. Notice your shoulder blades and change direction of the circle, start circling forwards. And now circle one more time backwards. Inhale, arms forward and up, look to your hands. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, push the walls right and left and exhale, circle your arms backwards. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, push to the sides. Exhale, circle back. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, push. Exhale, circle again. Inhale. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, push. Exhale, circle. Inhale one more time. Lift. Exhale. And push. Exhale, circle backwards. Bring your arms parallel to the ground. Right hand and arm make an external rotation while the left one makes internal rotation. And change. Change multiple times, noticing your shoulders, shoulder blades, allowing the head to turn whatever it feels like, noticing your rib cage moving. Now turn both hands up and outwards and down and inwards. External rotation on the arms, palms up and back. Exhale, palms down and back. Allow your spine to round. Inhale, the spine extends, the gaze lifts. Exhale, the spine rounds. One more time, open. Exhale, place your hands on your knees. Inhale, lift your arms up again. Exhale, twist to your right. Right hand backwards with the palm outwards and the left hand on the outside of the right knee. Allow your shoulder to melt, see if you're holding it. Imagine a waterfall running through your right arm, through your fingertips, very alive. Inhale, lift your arms again, come to center. Exhale, turn left, right hand on the outside of the knee. Left hand backwards, palm out. Allow your shoulder to melt, your shoulder blade to melt. Your chest emerges a little bit. And look back. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, caressing your mat, come on your force. Inhalation, tuck your toes, open your chest, shoulders back, exhale, round your spine, toes out. Inhalation, shoulders back towards your pelvis, lift your gaze. Exhalation, round the spine, tucking your belly and tailbone in. Inhalation, open. Exhale, close. Inhalation, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open one more time. 
exhale round your spine find that nice stretch inhale come to center walk your hands forwards on your mat anchor your fingertips look forward and exhale melt your heart towards the ground make sure your pelvis is aligned with your knees and start doing cat cow here in this posture rounding your spine and melting to the floor again round and melt and round tucking the tailbone and melt allowing the shoulder blades to come close to each other let's stay here a little bit breathing in each exhalation allow your heart to melt a little bit more your back to be absorbed into the floor with each exhalation absorb your belly button and come up walk your hands back sit on your heels come on your knees and give a step forward with your right foot start circling your right arm backwards left arm can participate if you feel like and look to your right hand when it goes backwards multiple times next time the right hand will reach for the left heel tuck your tailbone in push your pubic bone forward and lift your left hand up to the sky and backwards follow it with your gaze the left hand starts spiraling right forward and then left and you come back to center step back with your right foot and sit on your heel again lift your pelvis and step forward with your left foot toes of the right foot in start circling your left arm backwards and looking at your hand multiple times accompanying the hand allowing the breath to be free next time circle your hand and reach for your right heel make an external rotation on your left arm and your right hand lifts forwards up and backwards follow with your gaze the right hand spirals left and down frame your left foot with your hands stretch your right leg step back with your left foot exhale into downward facing dog bend your knees and stretch a couple of times if you feel like to ease in into downward facing dog shift your weight to your left foot right heel to the buttock give a big step forward with your right foot inhale hands up look to your hands exhale cactus your arms hands down forward and up exhale cactus arms inhale extending your spine arching exhale cactus interlace your fingertips behind your pelvis and exhale stretch your arms back and down lifting your sternum lifting your chest and gaze inhale arms up again exhale frame your right foot inhale step back with your right foot into side plank lift your right knee and step back with the tiptoe of the right foot into wild thing opening your chest looking to your hands and spiral your right hand and come to sit adjust the position of your right foot if you feel that it's necessary and follow your right hand up and back pushing with your pubic bone up to the sky and arching your back many times come down and up and down pushing with your pubic bone up and tucking your tailbone follow your hand back 
backwards. One last time, come up. And when coming back, turn over to the floor and bring your right hand to a plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, drop your head and bring your pelvis up into Downward Facing Dog. Adjust your feet if necessary. Bend your knees if necessary to find length on your spine. Start shifting your weight to your right foot and give a big step forward with your left foot. Anchor your legs, press your inner thighs together, lift your arms in warrior. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, lift the arms again in warrior. Follow your hands with your gaze. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, warrior. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift your arms again. Exhale, cactus. Interlace your fingers behind your pelvis. Exhale, roll your shoulders backwards and extend your arms down and back. Open your heart, open your shoulders. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, frame your left foot. Inhale, step back into a side plank. Lift your left knee to the sky and step behind you with the tiptoe. Open your pubic bone and your chest to the sky into a wild thing, look into your hands. And sit. Adjust your foot if necessary. Make an external rotation on your right arm. Inhale, exhale, push your pubic bone to the sky and look to your hand, arching your spine and again inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, feel the arching from the tailbone until the top of the head, inhale, exhale, lift, Inhale, come back to sit. And exhale, lift again. Inhale, bring your left hand down and come back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, until you touch your whole body on the floor. Bring your forehead to rest on the floor. Feel the contact of the body, the chest, the hands, the pubic bone. Bring your forearms on the floor, your elbows just under your shoulders. Press with the elbows on the floor and open your chest as if the chest wants to come forward and up. You can gently pull a little bit your mat towards you. And slowly bring your chest and your forehead back to the ground, open your elbows a bit to give yourself some space, push your pubic bone and lift your chest, shoulders and head and gaze, allow your hands to just hover above the floor by the side of your rib cage. think of squeezing your shoulder blades together if you're squeezing a little cherry in between them, bring your shoulders back, your elbows back, and slowly lower. Start sliding your hands forwards and a little bit out. Anchor your fingertips like roots. Move a little bit your shoulders. Roll your head from side to side. Gently. Then press your pubic bone, tuck your tailbone in and lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press the pelvis and open, drop your shoulders. Exhale, open, allowing your spine to wave up. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, press with the pubic bone, lift. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, lift, the sternum emerges. Exhale, lower. One last time, inhale, push and lift. Exhale and lower, bring your forehead on the floor. Bring your hands to rest by the side of your head again. Bend your right knee, flex your right foot. Inhale, exhale, press the right hip joint on the floor and lift the right foot and knee and lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press again. And lower two more times. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Last one. Exhale and lift. And inhale, lower. Change the side, bending your left knee, inhale, exhale, lift, lower, and lift, flexing with the foot, lower, and three. Inhale, come back, and four. Inhale, come back, and less one, five. And come back, stretch your left leg, now push your pubic bone on the floor, lift your chest, head, slide your hands backwards, palm down, lift your both legs by pushing the hip joints on the floor, bring the shoulders away from the floor and stay breathing in Shalabhasana. Legs very long and alive. Toes very alive, interlace your hands behind your pelvis, bring your shoulder blades together, exhale and stretch your arms backwards and away from you. Inhalation, feeling that opening of your chest, the stretching on the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lower legs and head. Bring your hands to rest by the side of your head. Bend your right knee and with your right hand, grab the inside of the right foot. Inhale. Exhale, push the pubic bone. The foot comes away, pulling your arm and chest. Exhale, lower. Push again. The foot pulls the arm that pulls the shoulder and chest. You lift. Exhale, lower. You can use the left hand a little bit, but not too much. Push and lift one more time. Exhale and lower. Let the right foot go. Bring your right hand to rest and bend the other knee, the left knee. Grab the left knee with your left hand. Inhale. Exhale, push the left hip joint on the floor. The foot comes away, pulling the arm, the shoulder, the chest. Exhale, lower. And repeat. And lift. Lift your gaze if possible. One more time, lift. And lower. Let the foot go. Allow your left hand to rest. Rest, feel the contact with the floor. Now bend both of your knees. The right hand takes the right foot, the left hand will take the left foot. You can take the feet through the outside like this or through the inside like this. Inhale, exhale, push your pubic bone on the floor, the feet come away, pulling your chest up. Long inhalation, long exhalation. Keeping the pressure of your pubic bone and lower gently. Let go of your feet. Bring your hands to rest by your head. The left elbow can stay bent 90 degrees on your side or stretched. The right hand 
comes to a pushing position. Bend your right knee and kick back. Feel the stretch on your left shoulder, on your chest, and option to extend your right arm up, so to intensify the stretch. Breathe and stay. And gently roll on your belly again. Change sides. You can have your right arm bent 90 degree or extend it. Left hand in pushing position. Bend your left knee and kick with your left foot backwards. You can place the foot on the floor. Option to extend the left arm. And stay breathing deeply. And slowly bring your left hand to stand and come back on your belly, extending your left leg, both hands pushing. Lift your chest and gaze up into Cobra. Exhale, push to sit on your heels in Balasana. Breathe into your low back. Feel your rib cage expanding on the back of you. Slowly tuck your tailbone and find verticality by unrolling your spine, sitting on your heels. Now turn to sit. Knees bent and gently unroll your spine until you're lying on your back. Bend your left knee, bringing your left foot to stand and slide your right arm on the floor by the side of your right ear. Your left palm is facing up on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, push with your left foot, rolling your pelvis gently to the right and feeling how your spine extends. Look to your right hand. Inhale, come back. Exhale, push, the pelvis rolls, the spine extends, and you accompany the movement with the head. Looking towards your hand, come back. And one more time, roll and arch. And come back. Change sides, extend your left leg, bend your right knee, bringing your right foot to stand. Bring your left arm up and your right arm down, both palms up. You can adjust the position of your right foot to make it more comfortable. And then press an arch. Come back. Notice your right hand as you arch coming closer to your right heel. Relax your right shoulder. And come back. And one last time. Press, arch, extend your left arm up, your right arm down, and come back. Now bend both of your knees, both arms along your body, inhale, exhale, tuck your tailbone and lift tailbone, sacrum, low back, mid back, and upper back. You can walk with your scapula a little bit towards your heels, approaching your hands from your heels. If it feels comfortable and possible, place your hands under your heels, palms up. Feel the length on your hip joints. Imagine your thighs very long. Feel the length on the back of your neck. Inhalation. Exhale, bring your shoulder blades apart and start bringing your spine down. Vertebrae after vertebrae. Then bring both knees towards you. Give them a gentle hug.
Then separate your knees. Through the inside of the legs, the right hand takes the right foot, the left hand takes the left foot, taking the outside edge. And then extend the legs 90 degrees. Allow the weight of the hands to weigh on the feet. Gently pulling the legs, the knees, down towards the sides of your body. And slowly undo the posture. Bring your left foot to stand on the floor. Interlace your hands behind your right knee and stretch your left leg. The right knee starts coming away from you, pulling your arms, pulling your shoulders, pulling your torso and head. Flex with the right foot and push the space in front of you, coming to sitting. And allow your right leg to rest and come. Sitting cross legs or whatever other posture that feels comfortable for you. Take a moment to feel yourself. Inhale, lift your arms forward and up. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of your chest. Thank you very much for your time, taking this time for you and allowing me to guide you today. See you next time.